G'day everyone, Master Rabbit here from CapsuleComputers.com.au. I'm here with Matthias, from Managing Director of Remedy Games in uh, Helsinki, Finland. That's it. Glad to be here. <laughs> Down Under. Down Under in Australia, and we're here for the uh, Alan Wake. Uh, kind of, we're, we're getting a lot of community folks coming out and, and getting them to play and giving them a special sneak peek at, at Wake, which is coming out in May. Which is fantastic. I've had a look at it now. I was, I was pumped, pumped. Thanks, thanks man. It means, it means a lot. Thanks. It does, it does. It's really, really good. Okay, uh, Matthias, please um, tell... I know a lot of people already know about Remedy, uh, but could you let us give us a bit of a rundown on how uh, the company was created, uh, the name behind it, and uh, how many people you have working for you today? Sure. I mean, um, today we're about 50 people. Um, we, we started off in, in the mid-'90s, kind of a trash, uh, traditional kind of... Um, garage startup, if you will, you know, working in the basement, one of the founders. Uh, I came on board in 99, so good 11, 11 years ago. Long time. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been a while. It's been a good ride, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a long time. So, I mean, uh, and the company had already been very much established. We were working on Max Payne 1 yeah. and kind of, uh, so we did Max Payne 1 and, and, and Max Payne 2 in 2003, and then we kind of started to build our next big thing, and here we are in 2010. <laughs> You know, uh, it, Alan Wake has been in development since 2005. You know, since really, 2005. Yeah, I mean, we built a lot of tech and, and looked at things that we wanted to do in, in, in the time between. And then, you know, we, we set out to build a psychological thriller and, and kind of one thing leads to another. And here we are in uh, Down Under in Sydney, you know, showing you the game. And, we're finally uh, here. We're finally, finally here. I can't here. believe it. Everyone's going to get to play very, very, very soon. <laughs> very <It's> soon. <laughs> awesome. That's great. All right. So um, just give us a brief rundown. Um, like, I know for the people who have not even heard of the game Alan Wake. That's both of them out there. <laughs> That's, you know, there's a lot of them out there. You don't know, know how many there are. I but know, it's scary. Yeah. <laughs> Could you give us a description of what the game is like, including like how the game mechanic works and stuff like um, you know, with relation to um, Alan Wake? Sure. I mean, so uh, Alan Wake is, is a psychological action thriller. I mean, yeah. we want to build uh, a heart parting thrill ride, you know, something that, that really delivers on, on the action side of things and something that's more cerebral. So we combine the, the mind of a psychological thriller with the, yeah. with the body of a cinematic action game. So yeah. I mean, those things are, are, are kind of, they meld together. The, the high concept uh, in, in, in a nutshell is that Alan Wake's a best-selling writer, but he hasn't managed to write anything in a couple of years. He goes on vacation with his wife, Alice. She disappears, and his search for her starts turning up these pages of a lost thriller novel, a thriller he doesn't even remember writing, uh -huh. and it seems to be coming true. And so he finds these, he finds these he, papers. He, he, find, he finds these pages of a thriller novel, and, and they seem to be coming true. So uh, they talk about a dark presence that's been unleashed, and uh -huh. it's taking over this uh, town of Bright Falls and uh, taking over the locals and uh, animals and inanimate objects and turning them violently against Wake. Yeah. So it, it's very much. Um, and it's he, and he writes it. He thinks he writes it. Uh, see, that's that's part of the mystery. The stuff okay, the uh, mystery. Fair enough. Uh, but in, <laughs> it, it seems like he's written it, but he doesn't remember writing okay, it. And, okay. and, and that's kind of where we where we kind of start with the setup of the game. All right, awesome, excellent. That sounds really, really interesting. All right, uh, now one thing, which is a the selling point, to tell you the truth. What does make Alan Wake stand out compared to the other games that are out there at the moment? Let's say third-person shooters that are out there at this moment in time. I, I, I think that's a that's a. It's a good. It's a good and fair question. I mean, for, for me, we, we look more, more towards inspiration from outside of games, yeah. uh, if, if if that makes any sense. So, we kind of look at film, TV, yeah. books, um, and graphic novels, and, and take something kind of from the uh, co common uh, subconscious of popular culture, yep. but try to find something that's fresh and innovative that hasn't been done in games before, yes. and bring it into the game space. Very important. And 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 make it into something of our own. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, you know, for us, it, it's very much about uh, one is the story and building a thriller. Yeah. But on the other hand, games are interactive. I mean, by, by their very nature, how it feels and how it plays is darn important. Very important. So, so we want to get uh, get you know those things to flow for the gamers. And it's just it's just uh, kind of a combination of the both. So we have a unique uh, gameplay uh, uh, mechanic. We use light and, and darkness as key uh, key gameplay elements. So. Light's a safe haven for the player yeah. uh, and a combat tool, and uh, darkness represents you know, insanity and, and nightmares and, and all, all things that are very <laughs> primal to us. Yeah. Uh, and Wake's enemies are covered in, in, in shadows protected by the dark presence, which is uh, taken the moment. Right. And the player needs to use light to burn away the dark presence before he can do damage with a conventional weapon. Okay, so a light could be either what a torch light, a flare, it, it or could something. Be a hand light, uh, sorry, a flashlight, a flashlight, uh, a hand flare, a flare, uh, a flare gun. Uh, um, 
the headlights of a car, there's ah. the search lights. So there's a lot of escalation, a okay. lot of, and obviously the environment itself. And and sometimes the environment turns against you. Anything can become an, uh, an enemy because yeah. uh, the dark presence is taking over objects, you know, smaller and up to locomotives or you know trains and, and throwing them against you. And, <laughs> and you know, it's, it, you have this. Um, this Escalation, you know, almost like a poltergeist, if you will. Ah, okay. So, so th there's there's a ton of interesting things to do there, but uh, it's it's one of those gameplay mechanics that's better played than explained. Yes. So w when we had um, on on Max Payne, we used slow motion as a gameplay. Yep. Yep. Uh, and we tried to kind of explain that we maybe we weren't very articulate about it like <laughs> I am now. Yeah. Uh, and, and you know, we, we had this. You know, we tried to explain. You know, you go slower in time. Um, yes. And people, won't that get boring? So we, we're, kind of, we're kind of getting that reaction. And I, I think with, with, with Light as a gameplay element, you get the control in your hands, you'll have fun. Yes. It'll be cool. Yes. Uh, and I, I think that's that's the key thing for us, really. Okay. Um, and um, I think we, we deliver on, on our on our kind of heritage. I think you have. Uh, from you. what I've seen, you guys have had. Thanks, you, mate. There's no, <laughs> thanks, mate. No. <laughs> there, there's no slow-mo, though. But there is slow mos in certain places which yeah. do, do um, bring it. Um, that, that's one of the things. I mean, we wanted to. Um, we have kind of a set of tools, but you, when you deploy those into a thriller, yep. you, it's a different genre. Yes. So we have those near miss moments. For example, when uh, you, you make an invasive move and, and the hatch is uh, coming for you, yeah. then you kind of pull that, pull the camera out, and then you go into slow motion. Yes. Or enemy creeps up behind you. You pull out the camera, and you, you see yourself from the perspective of, of the predator as a victim, if you ah. will. And you also get um, moments where you know. There's my personal favorite. And you get these <laughs> enemies are close to you, and you pull out a hand flare. You get that Statue of Liberty moment, <laughs> and we pan the camera around you, and it's just, it's just a very all right. Nah, that's good. It's so good. Sorry, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm having a bit of trouble hiding my excitement, but I mean, stuff like that is, I think. Uh, You're passionate about your gaming, and that's most important. I, I love it. I mean, the, the, the things there are, they're driven. They're, they happen under the hood, and they, they feel good. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, a lot of the time you need to be careful when you're taking away the camera yeah. and when you're moving that camera or, or, or messing around with time. Yeah. And it, it's just about getting it to flow right. Excellent, excellent. All right, well, that pretty much covers a lot of the questions. One thing I did want to ask was the achievement system, because I know it's on Xbox 360. Yeah. Now, I know there's a lot of people who are really interested in getting achievements, and achievements are very important yeah. for everybody. Now, um, could you give us a rundown of maybe some of the really harder ones to pick up? Um, or can you? If, if well, it's I mean, let's, let's let's put it this way. I mean, what we wanted to do for for um, for the for the you know the really hardcore out there who want a challenge, yeah. um, the game essentially has a dynamic difficulty system. Yeah. So we built that into into the normal and hard modes. So uh, basically, if, you, if you're faring really well, the game kind of ramps up slightly. But if, if you're ah. not doing really well, the enemies become less aggressive. Okay. But once you complete the game, you're you're able to play it on nightmare. Ah. And nightmare doesn't ramp down. The, th those guys are coming for you at full aggression. <laughs> okay. And, and if you complete the game on Nightmare, uh, I think that's that's it's a fair challenge. Yep. But it's a darn hard challenge. Okay. And right. I, so I think uh, th those 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 achievements will be will be the ones that um, you'll be trying to pick up. Yeah. To pick as, up. as a gamer, those those are the ones where you're going like, okay, now I've awesome. Uh, I've earned it. Awesome. Okay. We'll wrap up with uh, just two quick ones. Sure. Uh, now I'll, we'll leave it with the last one. What do you love most about working? At Remedy Games, um, I get to work with um, people who are honestly passionate about what they do. Um, they they want to be really good in their individual areas. We we have an awesome writing staff. We have an awesome technical staff, and our art staff is. I mean, th those guys are they're well, guys and girls. They're really passionate about what they do, mm. and and, and uh, there's there's a supportive. Culture, I mean, a very collaborative culture where different disciplines come together, and yeah. I think that that love for 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 Wake uh, as a concept really shows shows in the in the work and the attention to detail is, is something that uh, for me is uh, sometimes it's um, you know word, words escape me for that kind of dedication to, to, to just doing it. I mean, it's 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 more about. Coming together as a, as a team and, and doing something really cool, as awesome. opposed to as opposed to you know a job. It's, Excellent. It's, it's That's what family. you want. It's perfect. It's a family. That's it. Yeah. That's what it is. All right. Well, Matthias, thank you very very thanks, much. Uh, Glad to be here. Instead. Excellent. Awesome. Uh, g'day, mate. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks very much, Master Abbott. Signing out from CapsuleComputers.com.au. Thanks very much, Matthias. Thanks, man. Okay. Bye bye.